Hello. Hello, 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 beautiful people. Today I'm gonna come on live with my goddess, uh, beautiful, amazing client, uh, Diana. Here she is. Hi, love. So, go live with Diana. Hello, hello. Let me know if it works. Yay! You are here. Hello. How are you, love? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. It's so I funny. Was... All of a sudden, you're cut off when you do these. Yeah, you're like a small, a small face here. <laughs> I was watching your, your live in your group before. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. <laughs> we are gonna we are gonna yeah we can share all of that i'm gonna exactly. like yeah exactly. let's open the book up <laughs> <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining um if you don't know me or diana like just ask whatever question you have uh, and um yeah diana if you would like to introduce yourself who you are where are you in the beautiful world uh, yeah, sure. My name is Diana Iskander. I am in Montreal, Canada. So very far from Elisa, but close yeah. to heart. Um, I'm an expert love coach, so I work with women who are single in relationships to help them speak their truth and really rise in their feminine and experience love with more ease. And it's the honor of my life to do this work. Mm, I love that. And... Um... Since when have you been doing online uh, coaching uh, and you also been, uh, you are a mom, you are a wife? Yeah, there's a lot. I play many roles. Um, <laughs> I have been writing online since 2015, 2015. And then my coaching practice really came organically in 2016. Um, and I was doing it like for free, just like, you know, discovering the world didn't have any idea. You know, people started asking me for one-on-ones. I'm like, okay. And then um, I really hit the ground running in 2018, I would say, or in the first year when my son was born. And I, you know, I ended up getting all the certifications and doing all the learning and, and really like diving in. So I'd say like in a bigger way, 2018, 2019 is when it really started for me online. Uh, and here we are. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, lots of lots of roles. <laughs> yes. How, mm -hmm. how, was, how old is your son now? Three and a half. Uh, mm. He's so beautiful. He is. Yeah. <laughs> and so Diana is a generator, sacred authority. What else? Five one. Mm -hmm. Which I'm still learning about. Um, <laughs> Got the damn open head and open root. <laughs> uh, what is, I remember Lauren once called it the pressure sandwich. It's like both ends are open, so you really got to manage that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you then have an open emotional center, open emotional, open the wheel center. Open spleen. But, mm -hmm. Open spleen. But, Di you know, Diana does a lot of emotional work uh, with their women eh? but you know because if you if you have looked at my work you know I always say we need to work uh, you know build our offers around our defined centers eh? and receive money deconditioning the open centers but in your case you know we have, we have talked about it you are already in the wise uh, level of your open emotional center and your open spleen so you can absolutely you know hold space uh, for your women and do this work on you know the emotional and the communication uh, and the healing uh. yeah i'd like to say i, I do it pretty well <laughs> <laughs> i love it <laughs> so how has been for you like start to play with your design uh, following your pleasure your sacral uh, mm fun and stretchy and like you know it's like this death <laughs> of this old way you know like really challenging 
challenging making decisions for my mind versus my sacral. I've always been someone who, who moves with intuition, but understanding this piece about the sacral for me and it, and it, and it really being like a clear yes or no mm. has been pretty pivotal. And also that my pleasure is, is nothing to feel guilty about. And, mm. you know, like for so many reasons, like culturally, there's been so much shame around pleasure. And it's like on all the levels of pleasure. So just reclaiming that for myself has been such a gift and I'm still reclaiming it, right? Like I'm, I'm still in that. Um, but it's been this, like, it's almost like a journey home. Hmm. Like it takes me back to, to my original self, like how I remember being as a young child who just like wanted to play and was pretty frisky as a young child. <laughs> I had a lot of heat in my pants, let's say, as a young <laughs> child. Um, <laughs> too much for IG. Um, you know, and like so creative and, and just like wanting to write and dance and sing Hi Samantha and just have so much fun and now knowing like that's all good. That's actually part of my, like part of what makes me magnetic in many ways. So when I feel like guilt for indulging, you know, it's like, actually, do I feel satisfied? Because when I feel satisfied, things unfold much more easily for me. Yes. Yeah. So it's also a, 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 a movement less from the masculine and more into the feminine, too. There's like a, a transition. Uh -huh. Totally. Mm -hmm. And but, you know, we we have started working you know discovering your design uh, like i would one year and something ago yeah like end of 2019 yeah. and uh how hi juliet hi sam uh, say hi when you jump on live uh, so we can say hi um so i always been uh you know, really dropping into more this lean back energy, responding, uh, what has been, like what kind of results uh, have you seen like then in the external reality showing up for you? Yeah, do you want me to get into like some of the big things that happened over the last six months? Yes. Okay, hi Juliet. Um, well, leaning back, I mean, like who, who doesn't want to lean back? Like, we have resistance to it, but it, it feels so good, right? So. You know, one thing when I was, let's say, in my last launch, which was my biggest launch yet, um, and it was during our time together in opulence in the mastermind, is like when I noticed, whenever I noticed I wanted to push and like really lean forward where the energy wasn't there, it was like a, like a, a force, a forceful leaning forward. Whenever I noticed that, it was a straight up commitment to dropping that action and leaning right back. Mm. Like I, I've played with that before, but this was the launch that I really committed to it. There was no action taken from force. Yeah. And I had the group to like remind me that it was safe and okay to do that, right? Because the mind is panicking, like, hold on a second, you're in a launch. You need to do some things. <laughs> and my homework was like, go paint and write poetry. And so I actually spent a lot of my launch period painting. <laughs> you were like, yeah, you know, can you try to paint? Is, can it be my business strategy? I'm like, that's perfect. Like, <laughs> such a perfect business strategy. Yeah, and let's just, I just want to also say that I never painted before this mastermind. Like, I was not a painter as a child, or I never painted in my life, but I had this yearning, and I went to the store, I picked up the materials, and it turns out I'm actually really a natural. <laughs> yes, you are so good. <laughs> so that was really fun. Um, like, I, I got to paint my way through my launch, and when I would feel, oh, the stress is building, I'm like, I'm taking the afternoon off. And I'm going to listen to music and I'm going to paint. The painting worked, Juliet. I had the best, I had the, the best, best launch. Yeah, it was my highest launch. It was my easiest launch. I also had people doing the sales for me for this launch. Also, people were coming to me really organically as well and just signing up through me. 
um, it was the most hands off I've, I've ever been. Yeah. Yeah. I remember like, uh, so to do some back, back, uh, background, we have someone saying, uh, hello from New Zealand. Hi. What time is it there? It's super early. So Diana joined my Opulence Mastermind in November. We started in November 2020. And uh, you were already doing uh, around 20, 25,000 no, a month. I was like just under 20 a month. Under 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, what happened? Mm. And then uh, I had my highest month which was at 48,000, which by the way, I'm sharing this and it feels like such a stretch for me to share. I know, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and, it, and it, but that's actually been such a learning curve. Like when you, Elisa asked, can I share this for you? For you? Can, I share, can I celebrate you? Like it was immediate excitement and straight up panic. Like, am I gonna be stoned? <laughs> You know, and like, even though I know there's people doing, there's a whole range, people doing less, people doing much more. So this is stretchy for me um, and it's good. I'm, I'm happy to stretch. And my first quarter of this year, so quarter one of this year, I did six figures plus, which was almost what I made all of last year. I made a little bit more last year as a total of the year, but I made more than six figures cash banked in Q1 of 2021. I love that. And that the beautiful part is like, it's not just the man itself that, you know, beautiful, amazing, but how it, you did it, how it happened, you know, not like uh, stressing, overworking, uh, actually, you know, kind of scaling back your one-on-ones, uh, mm -hmm. raising your prices, uh, you know, calling in a different level of clients. Yeah, completely. I scaled back my one-on-one -on -one majorly. Um, which is essential. There's a point in time where that just becomes like necessary for your time and your energy. And I really get to serve my one-on-ones so deeply. Like I know everything there is to know about them. I'm like right in there with them. Um, so that, that was really great. And, you know, I hired, um, I hired like a VA team. I always was working with a VA, but now like I hired a whole team and have them like on a monthly retainer and, I have my sales associate who handles all of my calls for like anyone who's interested in working with me. I don't get on a single call. Um, there's so much help that I've hired. I hired someone, I uh, hired support coaches for my next round, um, someone to help with like community engagement. I hired a housekeeper. I hired um, a friend to do, you know, in, like interior design for our kitchen remodel. I, and, and I know there's more coming, but this has been like one of my words for this year was team. And, you know, obviously the resources allow me to do that. Uh -huh. And it feels really good, you know, it feels really good because I'm also supporting other people's dreams. And it's exactly. like, I, I, I get to feel really supported and really just allow myself to do what I do. Like now my calendar is filled with just the things I have to show up for, but there's nothing else. And every time, and I'm still conditioned to do a lot for myself. So every time I go to do a task, I'm like, wait, this is something I have help for. Yes. I can hand this off. So that's been really huge. Juliet's asking a question. It's funny when I first saw your question, Juliet, I did not read Pushy. Pushy. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. I need to come back to this. <laughs> I saw your face a little bit puzzled, and I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> um, so the question is, were you more stressed slash pushy beforehand? Definitely. It, it, it's been a journey and a deconditioning for some time. Um, but yeah, like a lot more, a lot more pushy with like, have to make things happen. And now it's really like I have the intention of what I desire. I'm also a specific manifester in my chart. So I do have that intention. And then there's like a lot of trust and release. Mm -hmm. And really when I feel the pushing is when I have to, is my cue. It's not I have to, but it's my cue to lean back. 
And this is the same thing I say with my clients. Let's say they're dating or in the relationship. So when you feel yourself really pushing, mm. pushing forward, that's your cue to lean back. Mm, that's your cue to stop, you know? Stop. Put down the phone. <laughs> put it away. Go. Go masturbate. Go play. Go sing. Go dance. Go walk. Nap. I napped through all of April. We can talk about that later too. <laughs> Juliet says, love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Juliet, she just started working with me uh, this month. One of one. Juliet. Yeah. yeah. And she's a beautiful projector. And, you know, we are really also working on this lean back, uh, allowing vibes mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, and in general, you know, in the mastermind, uh, all the women we were together, the, like we all were like, to pour it is good, you know, letting yourself being supported by the community, by the, um, by the people around you, by your family, by your team, you know, I think it's very, very, very uh, important and a huge thing for women in business. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And, and it, again, like I still notice myself I'm foreign to that much support in my in my business like I'm really well supported at home with my partner and I'm used to that but allowing myself to feel really supported in my business is, is still feels new mm. and so it's like a, a constant reminder like I don't have to do this I can totally hand this off and they do it better <laughs> <laughs> yeah because that's a zone of genius you know yeah like, I don't this, like there are certain things I should not touch like it's just not for me <laughs> It's like if I would uh, try to do graphic design as Samantha, I would, uh, you know, I would, it would take me like 12 hours what she do, does in half an hour, you know? And not as good. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and so I always been for you also being like in a mastermind, in a community, because, you know, there are people who really love uh, more, you know, the one-on-one -on -one support uh, and other people who love, you know, the community aspect being seen and witnessed by other women. But, you know, there is also a lot uh, of sisterhood uh, wound coming up and, you know, fear of being vulnerable. So I was being for you. Yeah, I was one of those people who thought, no, no, I need one-on-one -on -one support. But I had the sacral pull to join. I was not looking to join a mastermind. I wasn't like thinking about making an investment. I wasn't looking for it. Uh, and I resisted it because I was like, I don't even want to hear about what Elisa's offering because <laughs> then I'm going to be tempted and I don't want to. But that was my mind just panicking. But my body was really pulling me. And, and so I, I took the leap and I just, I just trusted it. And that was probably, that was one of the biggest leaps of faith. Mm specific to my sacral I mean where my mind really had a different story and my sacral had another and and I'm really glad that I trusted it you know being in this in the one-on-one the, -on -one is beautiful it's amazing being in the container with other women I noticed like when it would come my time and all the women are looking at me and it's like 10 mirrors are staring at you and it's such a stretch of vulnerability like next level and I noticed how sometimes that was really hard and scary. I consider myself someone who's quite vulnerable and not afraid to be seen. But that's not true because I would come into the group and I would be like, oh, wow, this is, this is challenging having this many like intuitive wise women just reflect back to you and watch you process what you need to process is intense. And there's a lot of growth in that. And I think, you know, like, I would tell you, I'm so grateful every month the payment goes through for this group. You know, even, even, you know, it's not about like getting support all the time for everything you need, but when you need it and you come in and say, like, sometimes it can be like, there was one email I was going to write. Yeah, I remember. Mm. And I shared it in the group and I was like, this is what I was going to send out today about my, my program. And you guys were like, who is that that wrote that? <laughs> Who wrote that? That's not even you. And you really encouraged me to like go back into my sacral. And th this is not like a sales post. Like I'm really inviting them into something amazing. And that alone, although like that's one example of many, but that alone 
was worth the investment because then what came from that email, like monetary return, let's say, covers the investment of the program. Yes. <laughs> and that's how it works in these things, right? And of course, that's like one of many instances. I also launched a six week program um, uh, that was in sacral response. And that's going to be a program that now becomes part of my regular offering and, and a beautiful way to like move people through my funnel right mm -hmm. into my larger program and that just came because i i listened mm -hmm. and it's scary sometimes to listen because it wasn't in my plans but yeah. here were all these people coming to me and i was like i don't have anything to offer them but they're really interested to work with me <laughs> You have because my next the, program the is best problem, you know, the abundance yeah. of people coming in. Eh? Yeah. And another big thing, you know, um, okay, I'll just share. So I got pregnant during during the mastermind. And so now I'm just about four months, which is why I slept through all of April. <laughs> and you know, something huge that I got support around was this like confirmation that it's okay to launch it in the fall and it's okay to take a month off when you give birth. Yes. Right. And, and yeah, I'm going to have people supporting my women during that month that it won't be me. But if I had not gotten that confirmation, I would not be launching the next round, which is going to be like a multiple six figure launch. And you already have people in. So I would like, so, so just hear that, right? Like I got the confirmation and the support and the like rallying of all the women around me saying, of course you can launch before you give birth and take a month off. Like, of course you're allowed to do that. And that decision to move forward with that is going to pay off the mastermind. Like, I don't know, 10, 20, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> so many times. Many times. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I also like the fact of, you know, that I'm so happy for you to be pregnant, but the fact that, you know, you allowed yourself, like, to kind of having it all, you know, I remember when we started the, ma the mastermind, it was something we talked about, like, I would love another child, but, I, you know, and it happened organically, and your business still thrive, uh, and your team grow. And your husband is amazing. So you really like allowed yourself to expand in all aspects. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is that. Like I don't want I don't want it to just come across about the monetary wins. Those are huge and life changing. The monetary wins are life changing. Let's be honest. Yes. Because it allows me to expand my support and it allows me to have more time. But what what's really essential here is like, yes, my monetary wins and then like the expansion in my calendar and the space in my calendar. Yes. Like sometimes I look at my calendar and I'm like, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, it really is this like cycle of like make more, have more time. And that was a belief that I desired to hold, mm -hmm. which is that more money means more time and more time means more money. I desired to believe that and I have the evidence, right? That like I've had to stand in the truth of that and create that. And then there's the expansion of my family and the expansion of our, our joy and our pleasure and my joy and my pleasure, right? There's the, there, the expansion is so, um, what's sort of what I'm looking for? Almost like global, like it's really like the whole picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, what would you say was different uh, working in, you know, with me and in this container, you know, you know, I've, you have been in this space a long time and you have obviously had other amazing support uh, and you also have, have um, done uh, Lisha as a program on trauma. So you are also a person who are always, uh, you know, expanding also your tools, your knowledge, and this is amazing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I think that that's an important point. It's like for other service providers, you're expanding in your own support and you also want to expand in the way you support others. I think that's really important balance to strike. Yes. Um, well, it's different in this container. There are a few things. So 
like your support is really boundless. Like you're just always there for us. Um, and, and also there, there are a few things like watching you and the, and the support coaches hold the container so steady when there is like big emotions coming through and just continue to hold the container where I think some other coaches that maybe in the past have experienced would have felt triggered by those clients and mm. said maybe even like, I'm not sure if you belong in the group anymore. You know what I mean? But yeah, you yeah. actually like held it, held them and held it until they moved through the wave and then started to break through their own barriers. So that was pretty special. Also like having this different support coaches not just the support coaches, but the type of women that were in the program. It's like I had 10 coaches. Yes. <laughs> like, I really want you to hear that. It's like, if you're in a, if you've never done this, or maybe you haven't done it with Elisa, the type of women you're bringing in are exceptional coaches and highly intuitive and have all these gifts. So, you know, when I came in with a question, it's not only Elisa who's mm -hmm. supporting me, it's all of the other women in the mastermind. So that's really special. And I mean, there were several things, also the focus on like coming more into your body, right? And the reminder to come back to my sacral and out of my head and just like challenging me, like where's that decision coming from? Or then all of you watching me and saying, well, we're reading your body language. And it <laughs> says. <laughs> so all of that was really, really powerful. I love that. And, you know, also, I think, uh, you know, we all had this beautiful combination of, as you said, like different type of women, but all very powerful and very intuitive and, you know, very, very... Um, special in the way they showed up for each you know for everyone and the the vulnerability you know the the capability to ask for help ask for support that is not always easy because uh, when we are on the other side like when we support our clients we we are you know the expert the leader and then we found we find ourselves in this container where we are there to be supported and a lot of time we held back because it's like, oh, I'm not going to want to be, you know, vulnerable or look not professional, you know. But you guys, uh, I, you know, I think you really had this opportunity to be yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, completely. Yeah. You really hold that space for us. And it's also the way you show up. Like, you know, if there, and it's an example for, for me, you know, if the, you and your husband had a hard yeah. month and there were some scheduling changes that needed to be made because that's life. And that just being my permission slip, like, of course, if there's something that big happening, you, you, you got to change some things and it's okay. And there were other people to support you in the meantime. And like, we weren't left without any support. Some changes had to happen. It's such an example. Yes. You know, we had to extend the mastermind, the ma uh, you know, a couple of weeks. Uh, but, uh, you know, you guys were super supportive. And yet, uh, you know, the beauty of having support coaches as you are going to do for your own mastermind is that you, are, you know that always the clients are being held uh, and seen, uh, you know, in every moment. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And so what's, and ah, the last thing I want to ask you, what yeah. about uh, the, um, because everyone asked me, what, what is that? The psychic surgery and wealth coding. Mm. Oh, yeah. You know, I think especially my first experience of it with you was like, it was really profound. I had, like, I remember asking you after that session and, and I don't know what's even happening. So it's like, I'm going in my meditation and I get to relax for an hour and just create like a, really beautiful container for myself and just know that you're holding me from a distance. And I had asked you, I, or I, I mentioned like right at this time or like right in the last couple of minutes, I got goosebumps from head to toe and you had explained what you were doing at that moment. And it felt like I was held in this like intense bubble of love. And then I remember you said my assignment was the next 48 hours to take it super easy. So I was like, okay, 
I just started watching Bridgerton, so I'm going to stay in bed and watch Bridgerton and drink coffee and eat chocolate. And I had a 10K cash day, the day of the wealth coding. And I chilled. Like, I chilled. And, and I don't want to make it sound like, well, it is magic, right? But it's also, it's a, it's a co-creation. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I remember even in the second coding, I was less attuned and so it wasn't like the immediate response the way it was the first time because it is a co-creation. Like yes. I was fully open in that first coding. I was wide open for it. And I received what I needed to receive. Because I think the second time you were already pregnant, no? I can't remember now. Yeah, and you were very like tired and more sick also in the body. So of course, you know, it's a, it's a potent energy work. Huh? And as Diana said, like, it's magic, but it's, it's a co-creation that mm -hmm. you got, you gotta be open. You yeah. gotta be present. Uh, you gotta be like available to receive. Yeah, exactly. And to integrate, you know? Yes. Yeah. And are you creating the space after exactly to integrate or not? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you know a, a lot of people when when they when we do it you know then I say you know rest uh, drink water and then they go and do all the stuff and yeah. they're like oh my god uh, what's is, what is happening I'm tired and I'm like like this is big energy movement uh, and the body the 3D needs to catch up you know <laughs> completely so it's it's and it's exactly that and I remember the second coding not taking as much time mm. after our session and it's like you don't you didn't create the space to receive what's coming through and, and that's on you 100 mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's next for you mm, well there's a lot um so right now like i said like one of the biggest wins for me is the fact that i i don't not taking any consultations myself anymore which is huge i would do many of those yes. in the month that was like a whole other part-time thing was taking yeah. those consultations. It was another job. It's like yeah. <laughs> so now I've completely offloaded that and she's doing an exceptional job and I'm getting the most aligned clients and she knows who I'm looking for and it's beautiful. We've refined the process of how we filter through them and so like the best people are coming into my programs. So I'm doing like a handful of one-on-ones, very few. Um, so like, obviously those prices have increased as well to reflect just like the limited supply of that. Um, I have another round of my six week program coming up in July. I don't think I told you that I'm doing another know. round. Really? I had a lot of interest. And so a lot of people couldn't show up for the first round. So I'm doing it again. Wow. That's um, so nice. yeah, super awesome. So it's pretty chill because I just have that six week program coming in July um, and then I am currently running my six month group and the next round starts in October. So it's school of love inner circle with me for six months and I give birth in November, which is kind of a big deal. <laughs> I'm, um, so, I'm so happy. It, no, an opulent baby. We are going to meet the opulent baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's totally an opulent baby. Um, so that that's what's coming this year like already like to me that feels like abundant and, and spacious right and like in terms of of revenue oh my god again like so stretchy for me to say this but i'm on track for half a million this year um yeah which is just so life-changing right so yeah that's what's coming that's what's coming my six-week program so that one's called for anybody who's interested it's is that called receive in July. So that one's really for the woman who's an overgiver, overthinker, and overdoer. I've over, I'm a, we're only two sessions into the six weeks, and it's like their minds are blown already. Ah. <laughs> They're having so many breakthroughs already, and I already see that they want to join the six month program. So that one starts July 27th, the six weeks. And then my six week program, the inner circle. Six months. Uh, six months program inner circle starts in October and that one's really like the full embodiment of your standards how you want to show up like how you envision either the relationship you're calling in because I have two groups one for single women one for women in relationships or how you envision the relationship you're in and like how do you speak and 
like what's how do you feel in your body and it's like the full embodiment of really moving out of your head and into your heart right mm. speaking your truth rising in your feminine and and allowing your your partner to rise in, as as your king mm. i love mm-hmm. that Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you don't follow Diana, go follow her on Instagram or your Facebook group. What's the name? The Facebook group is Fearless Love with yes. Diana. And I guess my Instagram is here, Diana yeah. Scander underscore. <laughs> so you, you, you have incredible also masterclass. Uh, you go live in your group. Uh, but, you know, what I always say about you is like... You, quote unquote, easy for you to sell your work because you embody what you teach. Yeah. You know, you are, you are the example, the embodiment of, you know, the work you help other women and the relationship you help other women step into or create or, you know, really, really um, having these beautiful love stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm in, a, I'm in a really beautiful partnership and I'm constantly learning in that partnership. And I've learned, you know, being someone who had, was very anxious in their attachment to not being like absolutely secure. Uh, so there's that journey. And then of course, like the journey of partnership and marriage and <laughs> building a family. And, and I'm very, very much an open book. I share a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you know, right? Having a, a kid during a during a pandemic, and you know, being it's you know, it's a lot and requires. Uh, you are very very good in communication and uh, you know emotional intelligence. Uh, M says you ladies are amazing and so inspiring. Yeah. I need to go now, but I want to send you both so much love. Uh, Thank you for being you and showing up in the world the way you do. Oh, thank you. Right so back at you. Thank you. Thank you. Where I tried you? your soaps, by the way. They're amazing. And the soap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we receive mm-hmm. it. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, this also to kind of dismantle the myth that people say only business coaches uh, makes, uh, you know, six figures or, you know, multiple six figures. Uh, and you you are a love relationship coach and you are doing it you had a six figure plus cash quarter and not like selling your soul or overworking but actually the opposite you know quite the, quite the opposite and i've never been more aligned in my work so of course like the floodgates open right yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's to give, you know, to, to be for people for, you know, you are an expander of what is possible in every niche, even if I don't like the word niche, but in every niche, when you are like what I always say, like you, when you are excellent at what you do, the money, the clients, the results, they're going to come, you know, when you, when you align, when, you know, you are in alignment with your messaging, with your energy, it's gonna happen it, it it just will it will just happen yeah mm-hmm. thank you so much it's 22 11 years so magical yeah. mm-hmm. thank you so much for being here and uh, yeah if you guys want to know more about my mastermind now it's not any called anymore opulence it's called women of wealth uh, and it's for you know coaches healers intuitives uh, clairvoyants uh, all the mystics uh, women uh, who loves also beauty luxury expansion uh, and uh, we start at the end of june uh, and we are gonna have also incredible uh, support mentors we're gonna have lisha that is one of my clients that is also the person with uh, Diana is trained with in mm-hmm. attachment and trauma, and she's amazing. Mm-hmm. And then we are gonna have salon uh, with Susie for intuitive copywriting, channeling uh, with my COO. So it's gonna be really, 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 really awesome. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. 
And you see, the type of women I attract are beautiful, awesome, and amazing. So, <laughs> thank you. So, send me a message if you want more info or follow Diana, join a group, uh, join one of her programs because she's amazing. Uh, and um, yeah, send her so much love. For I'm sending you so much love. Mm. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.